February 18th, we got a little daylight here now. It is 7.10. You guys, listen, sometimes people will say, it's written, you know, those that would say that they seek the day of the Lord, but yet, if they don't, if they haven't been watching, why did Jesus say to watch? Okay, we know the time of the seasons and to watch. Because we should be seeking him. Now, how many people are living their blessed lives? They're not even seeking the Lord because they're, they have no need of nothing. They're, they're doing fine here. Things are just great. You know, they don't even know that this is the end right now because things are just really great, you know, for them. And, uh, the Lord says, before he comes, he says, come out of her, come out of her, lest you suffer the wrath that's about to be poured out on this, you know? That's why it says in there, for those that say they're seeking him, because a lot of them say, oh, well, we have no need, we're blessed here. Not only that, when I get in heaven, I'll have a mansion there too. You know, you think they're gonna just go from one great blessing to the next great blessing you know the lord said he'd provide our needs but today the churches they've got you living your best life now that's what joel osteen's book was that was like a dead giveaway right there live your best life now i mean what does that mean for later you know and i've noticed how some of these people that i got blocked on here that i know have a dark spirit in them, evil, okay? I, I have no illusions about this, you guys. And uh, see, some of these people are able to communicate with you even though they have been blocked from my channel. And the reason why they're communicating with some of you is because you have something that you're holding on to in this world. And as long as you're holding on to these things in this world, they will be able to communicate with you. And that's what I'm trying to warn you. I had, I've had people that asked me to ask for me to pray for them on worldly matters. And I've said, I won't do that. I have nothing to do concerning worldly things. You know, I'll pray that people's eyes would be opened. You know, that they're ready for the day of the Lord, his coming, but nothing of this world, nothing. And all of a sudden I see them talking to these people that I know are demonic. And I'm like, that's not good. And why are they talking to those people? Because they know they're still hanging on. And as long as you're hanging on to something here, they can get you. That's what they want. They want to get you and pull you back in. And see, my whole message has always been to let it go, man. When I hear people say they're still hanging on to anything in this world, you know, even if you think it just helps you to pass time, what can I do to pass time? You know, what can you do? Study the Word of God. Pray without ceasing. Those are the things you can do to pass time because it's over here. My dreams I seen last night, listen, the word of God has been removed from our government, our schools, um, the jobs. See, they came on to me on my job and they said, you know, Mark, if you'd speak less about Jesus Christ, we can get you a lot of business, man. I said, that ain't going to happen. My business was already hurting because of the way things were going. I didn't, they, listen, that was the worst thing they could have said to me. Because, number one, um, Christ comes first in my life with everything, you know, because without him, we have nothing. And see, when he shows up, when Christ shows up, those that are seeking what's in this world, it's going to be a dark day for them. Especially when they sit there and say, oh, when he shows up, we got a mansion waiting for us while they're living and holding on to this life too. No, why do you think Jesus says to let these things go? lest you suffer the wrath that's going to be poured out. If you're hanging on to what's here and you say, oh, when he shows up, man, I got a mansion in heaven too, you know? No, you don't. 
That's an illusion. You don't. That's Read your Bible, man. The Bible will tell you perfectly clear. For those that seek the day of the Lord and they're still living in this life, in this world, and they, they don't even see that it's at hand right now. He's about to show up right now. This is all getting ready to come to an end. Boy, last night I seen those, a couple of little birds, man. They were like, the mothers, they were dead. They're, they couldn't feed their little babies. And uh, they were just had their mouths open looking up into the sky like, you know, feed me, feed me. And they weren't getting fed. The blessings are over here. There's no more blessings here, you guys. Famine. I think famine's getting ready to start. I think maybe that's what those little birds that was telling me. That famine is getting ready to start. Death is going to uh, come over this land like you can't even imagine it. You know, and I'm not saying these things with joy. I'm telling you what I've seen. Baby birds they were, had their mouths perched up into the sky with their mouths wide open like wanting to be fed. I think famine's about to hit here, man. Famine. That's what's getting ready to happen. You know, and these things are going to happen. And yes, those that have been uh, watching like the Lord said to do. See, the Lord didn't tell us to watch just so he could show up and uh, kill us. He told us to watch so we would be ready. He said, pray that we're worthy to escape these things. He said, blessed are those that when he does show up and he finds us doing what I'm doing now. You know, and I'm trying to tell you guys, to tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell those, anybody that, if you're getting gas, you go to pay for your gas, and if they say anything to you, just mention the Lord. You know, just mention the Lord to them. You know, how much, that's what you're looking for. You know, let them know you know that these days are over. That's all you got to do. Just spread the word. Most people in these churches aren't spreading nothing. The only thing they're thinking is how blessed they are. And they're not. They are not. Because they don't even see what's coming. See, we are blessed to be, have been separated. And the Lord did not give us strong delusions. We would, be, we would be in a lot of trouble if we didn't see what time it was right now. The Lord didn't separate us to, uh, to suffer the wrath. He separated us so that we could do what he wants us to do to spread the word and even though a lot of people are under strong delusion and he said to comfort one another now remember this now people will come in here and try to say oh but we should pray for more time no no the devil wants more time we've already had plenty of time years years of warning people and it's far worse today and you know what the devil's got his hands on all these little children right now no we don't need any more time what we did need is more people, a lot of the churches to come out into the streets with us and start speaking up and to support those that were, but no, they were blessed. They were living their blessed lives. This is the time not to be under strong delusion, but to be wise, okay? Because the wise are the ones that are going, not the foolish, okay? I love each and every one of you guys. I hope and pray that you get something out of my messages. And uh, these were the uh, ones that I'm going to hopefully go over a little bit with you today. Revelations, Hebrews, okay? This is all about the coming of the Lord, okay? All of that. Those are what I was going over a little bit this morning. It was kind of dark. But uh, as soon as it gets a little bit more daylight, I'm going to go back over here and try to load up another video. And I'm going to go over some of this. But know this. We've been separated, okay? There's a difference between us that have been separated and those that are just not seeing, but saying how blessed they are, you know? It's going to be a dark day for them because they weren't watching and they they were loving their lives, okay? God bless you guys. I hope and pray something that you get something out of this message.